time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Thursday, October 24th, S&P up 8, NASDAQ up 148, Russell flat, Dow is red by about 0.4%, gold and silver a little bit green, notes and bonds green, 10 year yield down 1%, oil off about a half percent, natty gas up 8.5%. I had not seen that. Something's gotten into natty gas today. Last couple days. Uh, soybeans, a little bit red. Corn and wheat, green. Euro and the pound, green. Bitcoin up two and a quarter percent. VIX is slightly green, sitting at 19.30. Uh, my BIC trades today... I've had some one-sided stops, no double stops, up about 500-ish currently. Uh, my price action BIX, I did have a double stop. And so I'm a little bit red overall on those. I do have a uh, a one lot left that's at about 70 plus percent left over from my start. I think I started with six on that one. Um, and then let's see, I had a, uh, no one DTE this morning. I did do a couple of Ricks, which they're not looking good an early and a late one. Both of them, those strikes are one strike difference, but both of them are pretty much in the same spot in the Valley. So need to move for those. Uh, no Wooga today for me. And then I had a, uh, I showed you in power Hour yesterday, I put on a bullish NDX VRR. So this is what it looked like when I started out. Of course, if I would have held it, I'd be at max profit right now, but I, I booked profits on one of them and then I transformed the other. So this is what I have left, essentially max profit of 3,127, minimum profit of 2,127. So right now it looks like I should hit max if we don't fall apart to the downside. And uh, let's see what else. No calendars on because I took my one, two off this morning. That is it for me. How about you, Chad? Yeah, I had a nice morning day trading, booked some profits there, um, booked an AM number one. Then the flush happened. Um, I was able to get out a 20% profit before that happened. And was, you know, holding on to my longs. And this time I held on to them and they were $1.70 at one point. And then um, I ended up getting out of them 40 cents. So ended up being a $200 plus $200 trade. So after booking 20%, you know, that's a situation where I could have closed them for 170 and taken a better a little bit better uh, profit after booking 20%, but didn't work out. So, and then I just wasn't too comfortable with the price action. And then, um, then, you know, this afternoon price action been really darn really good, but uh, premiums started getting small. So I just, I just stayed on the sidelines. And so uh, playing some yeah, movies got, now. I've got, I've got eight long puts. I was kind of in the same boat. They were yeah. trading for a decent amount and I, you know, VIX was going up at, you know, up until about 1115 and then it just collapsed when we bounced. But uh, in one of my it accounts, is what it is. 
Yeah. One of my accounts, I'm in, I'm in a 5,800, 5,810 Wooga, and it's at 35% already. So I'm going to take uh, some of it off here at 40%, which is if I can get 10 more cents, some of that will come off. It's dead center. I see my last big tranche just fired, and it is a 5,805 straddle. So we're kind of consolidated. So I'm going to let that one sit for a minute, see if I can book a little bit, but I'm not going to take that one to the bell. Those picks, those straddles are just a little too dicey. Let's see, putting on a power hour. Look, I could be five wide right now. Give it a minute. I may do a five wide here. All right, going in on the 05s, 00s. Just do a little four ladder. Oh, looks like it went on on the, never mind. It went in on the 05 straddle. Hmm. Did not expect the bot to do that. All right, I'm on the 05 straddle. A little more premium, a little tighter. Let's just finish at 05. I will take an 05, at least for a while. Uh, Moel, did you see my response in the calendar chat? So when I when I enter all my all my trades are on my trade plan in the calendar trade plan channel on the sheet. So it, sh it shows exactly when I you know get in each trade. So it's always based on the entry. So if it's a three, four. Uh, Monday three four. It, I just call it a three four. I mean, I can, you know, I have a a two three that I'll get in on Monday or Tuesday. But if I enter on Monday, I mean, you know, it's two days and three days to expiration. If I enter on Tuesday, you also know it's two and three DTE from that day. Yeah, I mean, keep in mind, you know, if if you're if you're tracking the trades that I post, I mean, you have my spreadsheet there that that has all the trades. Obviously, the the real idea, like like any type of trading, is for you to kind of take the ideas that myself and others present or post, and then you know build that into your plan. So obviously, there won't be any confusion once you've kind of 
decided which calendars you're going to trade on a weekly basis and all that stuff. But yeah, it should be, should be pretty easy to decipher which is which. I mean, all my, all my trade posts also have the expiration dates on the, on the, uh, in the trades channel when I post them. And of course, the back test links have all the exit times as well. So, you know, if I enter a two, three on Monday and then on Wednesday I close and I say I'm closing my two, three, obviously that's the one from Monday, not the one I put on Tuesday. <laughs> yes, that is correct, Mara. I have special Saturday trading privileges. And Sunday. Got a little red bar coming in. Let's not get too frisky. Uh, yeah, so I've been trying to figure out how I want to work around the old election. Okay, so let's see here. I haven't really dug into it. So election is November 5th. So I think I'll I'll still do my all my norm. Well, let me bring this down. So next week. Okay, so next week on Monday, there's nothing. So that bodes well for our shorts on our three-day three, three -day front, front option trades. Tuesday, we've got jolts. Wednesday, ADP, or uh, yeah, ADP non-farm and GDP pre-market. Thursday, core PCE pre-market. Friday, unemployment. So decent, decent amount of little news next week. So I'll probably do oh, pretty much normal size next week, or this Friday for next week. Maybe maybe draw it back a little bit on size, and then on Friday of next week, the first, I won't be trading any. Any calendars that day. That's how I see it. Anybody else doing something different? I 
All right, SPX down to 801. Need a little bounce here. How about Tesla? Up 21%. Yeah, that's wild. I mean, that thing just shook off the little uh, Tesla taxi event. Yeah, they, said it negative. they said it benefited from, uh, what was it? Uh, their uh, climate tax breaks or something gotcha so needless to say our uh little butterflies my, or mine is just gonna book minimum profit here i'll just most likely let it expire on friday unless we happen to get a big reversal No, Chris and, Chris and Chessmaster were bearish, so I went bullish. The contrarian indicator worked like a charm. It worked too good, actually. <laughs> the expected move to the upside was 224. It's at 260. <laughs> I don't know if Chessmaster's on here today. I haven't heard from him all day. 50% of the profits. All right, my profit's going to be 138 bucks. So I'll send you uh I'll send you I'll send you 70 bucks, Krish. You pull that out and change in your car, don't you? <laughs> well, there's a nice little bounce. In other stock news, UPS up 4%, almost 5 It had earnings this morning before the bell. Coinbase up 4%, has earnings next week. Riot Blockchain up 2 All the big boys up a little bit, except for Apple. Apple's slightly red. On the red side, we've got IBM down 6.5%. IBM had earnings yesterday after the bell as well. IBM's on been on a tear. Silver finally coming off of its little all-time high run last couple days. You got in on the IBM short, Chessmaster? You just bought puts at the open? Or not Chessmaster, opt for dollar.
All right, so I got a little bounce back. Now I need to just to freeze. Yeah, I got out of some of my 0515. Ruga. At 30%. Slow down, SPX. Slow your roll. VIX tick, ticked above 20. That, that was the reason earlier, the way prices even now just wasn't comfortable entering my TLC trades because it's just too quick of moves. I posted earlier, I've, you know, I got my early Rick and my late Rick on. We had that push below the expected move, which usually is enough to hit a profit target on a Rick, but. The way they were priced today was not enough. I took a double stop, Krish, on one of my price action bicks, so that put me in the red a little bit. But my uh, my normal bicks are currently up about four hundred and some. No double stops on those. And just got stopped out of one side of my uh, price action straddle here. So now I need it to stay up. Don't come back down. My Rick needs above 58.20 to break even. Did anyone put on the old Thursday 40 Delta Strangle today? Would be not, not be working yet. I thought about it, but I already have got two Ricks on, so I figured I'd just stick with those. It's kind of a bit, big boy bounce here. Oh, I'm getting another uh, telemarketing call, for politics telemarketing call from Montana. Every day, like five of those. Yeah, I'm glad my iPhone... It'll say potential spam. Yeah, that's what mine does too. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I got one like 30 minutes ago.
well, I don't think I'm going to get in anything else. So now it's just waiting for my homes to show up. Good to see Mahomes get another weapon. Oh, yeah. D hop to the rescue. I saw something on CNBC this morning. That, uh, you know, poly market is the big political betting market. You can't do it in the U.S., but people outside the U.S. can bet on politics. And there's some French nationalist, I guess, who had like multiple accounts and had bet like $28 million <laughs> oh, on, wow. uh, on Trump winning. So they're wondering how much that skewed the skewing the poly market. Activity. Wow. Yeah, I always vote in person, personally. I've never mailed in. I did vote early during the pandemic, but. I need to figure that out. Make sure my voting place stayed the same. Yeah, mine's just like two blocks from my house. So here's where poly market's at. 63% Trump, 37% Kamala is neck and neck in early October. And it's really started, started to widen on the betting markets. It's kind of neck and neck from August to the beginning of October. I think that's when Kamala started doing interviews. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the ID thing is... I mean, here in Missouri, definitely do. I don't know if there's some states you don't. Or I can't remember. There's there's a lot of to talk about issues with that. I can't remember what the details are. You got something to hide, Dark Avenger? You trying to hide from someone?
And an XPX still grinding up. NDX is up almost 1% today. Ooh, he needs a grind down. Still getting a straddle here. I'm already on the 5810 calls though on my on my uh, previous Bix. So I I think it was I think it was to Elliot last week or earlier this week. I think I'm gonna sometime maybe Monday before the election, I'll I'd like to add another VXX VRR to take advantage of some potential vol contraction after the uh after the election. Of course, the risk is something gets crazy. Something goes crazy when we get a big vol spike. Uh oh. Got an alarm going off in my building. Therefore, at the front desk of the mute, do not leave your units. Stay in your unit. Police are on site. Do not leave your. Do not call. Uh oh. Did you guys hear that? Setting up an email right now. Trouble downtown. They said, do not leave your unit. Police are on site. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know the neighborhood. <laughs> Something's going down. Something is going down. I'm going to go on mute here so you guys don't have to hear that. Need a move down. Wugas need a move down. S and P looks like it wants highs of day. Just went ahead and went and locked my door just in case. Better go grab my gun too. <laughs> I just got an email. Owners, this is an emergency lockdown and active shooters in the building. <laughs> Good. Oh wow. oh, wow. Please go inside your unit and lock the doors. The police are on their way to handle this situation. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Good thing you, you got to lock that door all the time. Well, I do. And that, so I just got up to just go make sure. And, and sure enough, it was not locked. <laughs> I, I always lock it. I don't know. I must have taken out the trash or I took out the trash earlier. I must have forgot to lock it. Man, I only placed. Today's my last day of trading this week because of uh, I, I fly tomorrow. Only placed four TLC trades this week. Wow. Four yeah, four trades in four days. 
last two days, just I probably could have got another one in today, but it's just I don't know. Elliot, you think it's that Anani Mouse, Anani Mouse guy <laughs> coming to get me? All right, that's high enough. Now nah, we've messed around enough. Back down to like 08. Yeah, you guys didn't know I worked in the hood, did you? Yeah, not far to the east of where you are. Not not good. Yeah, I mean, I walk around downtown all the time. It's... Yeah, you just can't go east very far. Yeah. A lot of homeless, too. I'm in a covered parking garage up for dollar. Thanks for thanks for your concern. And it's an Audi, not a Tesla. <laughs> A7. Yep, Audi e-tron with the zero DTE license plate. Wow, NVIDIA and Tesla's just going straight up. Yeah, Tesla. Look at look at this. Tesla and Nvidia just shooting up. Wow. Yeah, that's what's we're gonna get a big rip up here in a second. Still on lockdown. The police are here. Wow.
Tesla ripping, Nvidia bouncing. SPX approaching highs of day. Let's see, my uh my Rick has a chance. Fifty eight twenty or higher. My other one is on the tens and thirties. And sixty five OOs. I got into that for thirteen twenty five. So that one needs twenty five or higher. Sure doesn't look like price wants to come down, so you, you might get it. I mean, it is Thursday. Coinbase is bouncing, Tesla still pushing, Nvidia. Nvidia's not back to highs of day yet, but it's pushing. Tesla pushing with some volume. That is a big move in Tesla. Missouri is where I live, my friend. Kansas City, Missouri.
Bitcoin bouncing. All right, we got about 21 minutes to go. Let's see what these uh, butterflies are trading for. Fifteen butterflies trading for about a dollar thirty. Still an emergency lockdown. There's my there's the email I just got. That's how dedicated I am to you guys. <laughs> I don't cancel power hour just because there's an active shooter in the building. You didn't hear anything, did you? <laughs> No. It's going to take more of an active shooter for me to cancel power hour. <laughs> I don't know if this active shooter knows how good I am with my nine millimeter. Yeah, I was getting ready to text the wife, and then I was like, uh, I better just wait. <laughs> a prize? I don't know about a prize. Like a trophy? <laughs> Maybe I can mount him, put his head on my wall. <laughs> like a deer. Oh, I see it out my window. I see they've got him. They've got him down oh. on the sidewalk. Oh, nice.
Down moves helping my Wugas big time. I can't tell. He's he's kind of behind a ledge, so I can't. I saw him. I saw him like push him down. I assume he's alive. Some people just can't follow the rules, man. All clear. All clear to come out. I'm safe. There were no injuries. Closed my uh, 5,800, 5810 Wuga for about a 30% profit. And my uh, second one is pretty centered. Tesla back up to highs.
be interested to know what the MOC is here in a minute. Yeah, I don't know where Steve went. Oh, sorry, guys. I had on, I was on mute. I've been sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Seven hundred eighty-two million sell side. So pretty small. <laughs> All right, so we're right between strikes. Need to move either towards 15 or 10 to get filled on my flies. Working a 10 and a 15. Let's get back down to 10. That would be ideal. Tesla finally pulling back a little bit off of its highs. Looks like I should be getting filled on the 15s. Close. It makes a little push up. Nope. Build on the 15s. And my bot filled on the 15s as well. All right, now let's go down to 10. Down to 12. Keep going. Down into the 11s. Less than six minutes to go.
Back up to 14. Goes my Wooga, what I had left for 85 cents. So this doesn't get out of control here. Anything below 12 would be a winner for Mahomes. Got four minutes. Just a couple little points lower. Uh, Moel, is it because you ha if there's no bid on one of these zero DTE strikes? Wait. That's saying that... Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, but I don't have a bid. So yeah, you can close all the strikes that have a bid. That would take your risk off. Down to the 11s. One more little push down. Getting close to a lock. Closer. Should be locking, locked. Mahomes locked and loaded. With two minutes to spare. Now, if we ripped up to 20, that'd be ideal. Less than a minute. Below 10 would be max profit on my 
bot fly. Nice, nice Wooga winner. Beautiful. Ding, ding, ding. $2,000 winner on my Mahomes. $1,000 winner on my vertical-less Mahomes. Both Wooga's winners. Checked in at 5809.86 on the close. All right, all. Good way to end of the day. I didn't get shot. Mahomes was a winner. And uh, tomorrow morning, I will be on the live stream at the open for day trading. Chad is taking a break. And we'll be back I'll, for uh, Power Hour. Yeah, I'll probably be able to join next week, Power Hour, hopefully. All right, all. Sounds good. Have a good night, everyone. Talk to you soon.